my friends my friends the second message of this 2024 i will stop counting at a certain time i'm not even gonna mention if it's the first if it's the second if it's the third but it's a message um, that i was thinking of for a long time to do and i couldn't find the i don't know the right occasion the right words it's more of a, like a personal testimony than a per se a preaching even though i still have a bible verse that i want to share with you before starting all this let's uh, lift our hands up or in any way you prefer and let's praise him the only one that deserves the praise the honor the only one that deserves us to put our heart to him no one else deserves but jesus lord we praise you and we thank you for being our god we thank you for saving us lord we thank you for redeeming us we thank you for giving us a new beginning we thank you lord for giving us a clean slate and as we start uh, this life a new life in you oh, we are so grateful for everything that you've done for us and you carry on doing lord praise you worship you now and forevermore amen it sounds um, almost like a, a believer a fresh new believer prayer but why am i doing this why i'm uh, putting this kind of wording into this prayer because um I don't know about you, but every day it feels like a new rededication to Christ. You start every day, and you, and it's not feeling, it's a conviction of your mind and of your heart. You feel, let's use this word for now, the desire to start fresh with Christ, or even with more fire inside of you. If, if you can put it this way more fire inside for Christ and then you meet this kind of uh, verses like uh, let's open the Bible together let's read uh, John chapter 1 verse 12 English standard version not a particularly the favorite version but a good version that I use now and then but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John chapter 1 verse 12. You believe in Christ, friend. You are a child of his. But why do you believe in Christ? Why do you believe in Christ? Now comes the time for me to say, I look in my past. From the very first time uh, in which I opened the eyes in this world and I felt God's hand upon me. I found out stories that uh, the simple fact of me being delivered in this world was uh, nothing short of a miracle. I was so close to be aborted but God said no. I have a plan with him. As I grew up, um, things happened that made me even more aware of God's protection. Accidents that could have killed me, but here I am. I stand here to give testimony of God's love and God's grace. Trials and tribulations. I experienced God's grace and love even in that particular moment of my life in which I didn't know who he is. God's hand was upon me all the time. Why do I believe in Jesus? Well, as a keen observer of my life, as a, a, a keen observer of everything that God has done, there's no other way. It's uh, intellectual. It's... Uh, heart decision it's intellectual and heart decision that come together all in one it's me not being blind it's me realizing that my life has a meaning because 
I discovered him and then uh, in him in Jesus I discovered what love truly is you see we are going through this life hungry for love all of us all of us we want love there are uh, this uh, they call it the essential needs of a human being love respect acceptance if these three needs are denied then that person experiences uh, severe psychological and mental problems why many uh, sadly decide uh, to end it all because they together with other factors they are denied three these three very important essential human needs they need to be loved they need to be respected they need to be accepted but as you look for love respect acceptance in all around you in this world you're not gonna find them friend or if you'll find something it will be uh, just a surrogate it's not gonna be the genuine thing it's not gonna be that love that fills your heart it's not gonna be that joy that uh, keeps staying there with you regardless of the circumstances you hear always that people want to be happy they are desperate to be happy and when circumstances changes because circumstances they will change all the time maybe it, today you're not where you used to be yesterday or this year you're not where you used to be last year or this month you are in a very different position than where you used to be everything changes someone said uh, a wise man a wise woman i don't know that uh, the only factor that remains constant in this life is changing everything changes but in christ you found stability you found the love that remains the same that love that christ has for you so much love that he decided to come lay down his life so you can live when you discover this kind of love when you discover that kind of love that the apostle paul speaks about in first corinthians chapter 13 you cannot do nothing else but believe it's a decision that you take mental your mind is not absent when you take the decision to follow christ on the contrary your heart your spirit is touched by god's love and you take the decision to follow god is calling us the calling is universal all of us we call but some as yours truly and i hope you as well my friend as we choose to follow we understood that God's love is not something that we can overpass. I decided to throw away my independence and to embrace my dependence on God because I know that through God, I am complete. I have decided not to listen to my heart, but to listen to His words, to His promises, because my heart is deceiving. My heart, just like the prophet Jeremiah says, is a heart that it's wicked and um, beyond redemption who can understand my heart yes my heart my sinful nature cannot be redeemed even my sinful nature waits for that day and moment in which uh, there in eternity i will be made completely new my spirit is filled with christ's presence the holy spirit lives here inside of me but my sinful nature will always fight against the spirit Apostle Paul screams out in anguish, who's gonna deliver me from this body of death? But well, praise be to Christ, he says, because through Christ only we have our deliverance, we have our victory. Why do I believe? Others choose not to believe. I choose to believe because in Him I find everything that I need. Because in Him and through Him I am the best that I can be. Because through Him only because of him only because he loved me first only because he is my god and nothing is my merit it's only him just a short message really it could be said so much more but now comes the challenge for you friend why do you believe 
Why do you believe? The comment section is open for you. Let me know why you believe. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say. God bless you all. And let always Christ be everything for you. Because if He is everything, you don't need nothing anymore. God bless you all.